Hey guys, hope you are doing great. Welcome to this video tutorial where we are going to perform uh, external uh, fluid flow simulation, uh, model aerodynamic simulation on an Ahmed's body. So many of you might be wondering what Ahmed's body is. So Ahmed's body is a bluff body which has almost all the features uh, which are very important for aerodynamic calculations on a real life um, automobile. Okay. So for those of you who are working on uh, uh, projects related to finding uh, lift and drag coefficients or whatever it is on a sedan or a hatchback, uh, you might not have uh, good quality literatures to validate your results with. In such situations, for uh, easy validation, what we do is like we tend to go with a Ahmed's body, uh, which has a lot of literature and experimental data uh, to validate the lift and drag coefficient that we get through the numerical analysis. Okay, because validation is going to be a very important part for any numerical uh, analysis. Uh, most of the researchers who work on external aerodynamics uh, tend to go with Ahmed's body and try to prove whatever uh, they are trying to prove on Ahmed's body, and it can be. Uh, simplified that if it is going to be working on Ahmed's body, then it might as well work on the uh, real model vehicle. Okay, so that is what Ahmed's body is all about, and um, I hope uh, uh, you pretty well understand why Ahmed's body is being used. And uh, this lecture series will be broken down into a series of videos. In the first video, we'll be seeing how to model the Ahmed's body using SolidWorks, and in the next uh, video, we'll be seeing how to prepare the geometry for CFD simulation which is basically the pre-processing uh, geometry pre-processing part which we'll be using uh, uh, design modeler in ANSYS for and uh, once that is done once the fluid domains are all set up and uh, once the body of influences have been created we'll be taking the geometry onto the meshing environment where we'll be creating a nice unstructured mesh around uh, the image body along with uh, some important features like uh, prism layers and inflations as well so once all that is done the next uh, step will be to take it on to ANSYS Fluent, uh, where we'll be performing, um, where we'll be setting up the boundary conditions and uh, we'll be selecting the turbulence models and all those things so that um, we can set the problem to be run by the Fluent solver. So, once all that is done, so the last video will be about uh, post processing and trying to validate our results with the existing experimental values. Okay, so let's get started. So if we just do a brief um, Google search about Ahmed's body, this is the kind of geometry that uh, you would be getting. Okay, so if you can see, this is a bluff body, not the exact one. So this is the bluff body, uh, which has almost all the necessary features um, that of a, a car. Okay, that you're thinking about. So uh, the fee value that you can see here is actually the slant angle, and um, experimental data is available for Ahmed's body with a slant angle from about 25 to almost up to 40 or 45 degrees if I'm not wrong. Okay. So in this particular situation, we'll be taking up a case where the uh, slant angle is 25 degrees. And uh, now in this first video tutorial, we'll be seeing how to uh, model this uh, MH body using SOLIDWORKS. Okay. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start by creating a sketch on the right plane and I'm going to draw this rear profile of the car. Okay. So make sure that the units are in MMGS. And um, so if it is not in MMGS, you can just click here, you can select MMGS, okay, which is millimeter gram second. So select right plane, uh, click once and uh, select sketch here. And um, draw a corner rectangle like this. And um, the width has to be 389 mm and height has to be 288. So this will be 389 and 288 okay so this comes down a little bit so what i can do is like just drag and drop it um above the origin okay um so this is about 50 mm from the origin select this line and the origin and say it is 50 mm and uh, this point and the origin say it is 389 by 2 now if we see our uh, sketch is fully defined now what we can do is like we can extrude it to a length of 1044 millimeters so you can see here 1044 mm which is actually the width of the car uh, length of the car okay so if i just make it 1044 here so this is going to be the 
actual uh, length of the car okay so if you can see here we are going to use a face fillet of about 100 mm radius so from the front view as well as from the top view there is going to be radius which means all the four edges of this face need a face fillet of uh, radius 100 millimeters so what you can do is you can go to uh, fillet and um, you can select face fillet which is here okay and uh, make sure that the radius is 100 millimeters and you can select this face here if it isn't working you can even select the normal fillet and uh, select this face here and click the full preview uh, i think it will work now because my preview was off last time round and now you can go for full preview i'm not sure why it is not working okay in case it is not working don't mind you can just select these four edges manually sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work so Never mind, you can just select these four edges and now if you can see, we are going to have a fillet of 100 mm from the top view as you can see here, as well as from the front view, as you, uh, you can see the fillet here as well. Okay, So this is the front view and this is the top view, which is very much uh, like what our profile is looking. Okay. Fair enough. Now what we need to do is like uh, we are going to have this uh, cut here. The image body has been um, proposed, it has been uh, used in such a way that the slant length has to be a constant of 222 millimeters, and uh, this uh, phi, as it varies, the length from uh, this, the horizontal and the vertical lengths from the vertex will change. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that if this phi is let us say 25 degrees, then the horizontal distance will be 222 cos 25 cosine 25 degrees and this will be 222 um, uh, sine uh, 25 degrees okay so if it is 40 degrees for example the another case if you're going to take this will be uh, 222 cos 40 and this will be 222 sine uh, 40 okay fairly easy so now what we're going to do is like again we're going to create a sketch on the front plane and uh, from this vertex what i'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line like this. I'm going to draw a triangle like this basically. Okay. So we don't know what this is going to be. So we uh, numerically this angle has to be 25 degrees and uh, this will be uh, 222 cos 25. Right. So let us see what it is now. So that comes to 201.2. And now this angle again is going to be. 25 degrees okay and this length is going to be 222 as you can see here right so this over defines it because 221 25 means this is going to be um, the hypotenuse right so it will automatically calculate so we don't need to over define it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude cut it and it, I'm going to use uh, through all command through all both means it's going to cut across the model in both the directions okay. so now we have uh, this cut also made and we also ensured that the angle is 25 degrees and this length is 222 okay so what next next we are going to draw the four legs that you can see here okay to do that i'm going to go back to the bottom face i'm going to create a sketch as you can see here and um, i'm going to draw a center line I'm going to draw a center line because uh, I'm going to mirror it. There are going to be four circles like this, and um, the diameter is going to be 30 mm. So let me add some dimensions to it. So call it 30 mm, and I can do the same for this as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two centers and call it horizontal. Okay. Now the um, horizontal position from the start from the face of the image body to the first leg is 202 millimeters so what i'm going to do is from here to this point okay so i'm going to smart dimension this uh, edge to this vertex it's going to be 202 and uh, the distance between two legs is going to be 470. i'm going to just add dimensions to that as well Go to smart dimension and call this as 470. 
all right and now there is one more dimension that we need to add which is from the center it is 163.5 okay so from this center line this is going to be 163.5 okay so this looks pretty good now we can just mirror it across the center line let's go to mirror entities entities to mirror are going to be these two and the mirror about we are going to use this center line and there you go the depth is going to be 50 mm as you can see here so i'm going to extrude it to a depth of 50 mm okay all good so here is our image body the image body is pretty much ready but uh, now what i'm going to do is that because i'm going to scale it down uh, to reduce the number of uh, elements in the mesh uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm going to scale it down by a factor of half okay so we're going to use a half model so in commands if you go to scale so make sure that you hit this and you are in the command section and if you hit scale um, it is asking you whether you want to size it about the center yes it is about the center and or you can i think you can even use origin okay then you select this and say 0.5 let me just check if it works yes it works and uh, the origin is here okay so there you go so now we have um, reduced the model size by half so that what you can do is like when we are uh, doing the meshing part we can have a pretty good mesh with a less number of uh, counts okay all that we need to ensure is that we will have to uh, make sure that the Reynolds number is going to be constant. I'll be telling you how to ensure all those things in the forthcoming lectures. But at the moment, if you just check the length of the car, uh, if you go to measure and if you select this phase and this phase here, you can see that the length is 522. Initially, it was how much? 1044. So half of it is 522. Right? So this simply means that we have reduced the model size by half so we just scaled it down by half now i'm going to, I'm going to save this model so i'll go to file save as and uh, i'm going to call this as amit's body uh, or okay it's going to be amit's body so i'm going to call it as base geometry okay base also make sure that you file you are going to save it as um, a parasolid version also uh, because ANSYS will only accept parasolid or uh, step files. Uh, STL files are also accepted at times. Don't go for IGS because it is a surface based uh, feature. So I would always recommend you to go with uh, parasolid because it will have uh, minimal losses, okay, geometric losses. So I'm just going to save it as base and uh, make sure you save one copy as parasolid and click save, okay. So this is how you can uh, model a MX body using your uh, SOLIDWORKS and in the next video tutorial what we'll be doing is we'll be jumping on to ANSYS and we'll see how to set up the uh, domain, the fluid domain around the car so that uh, we can have a nice mesh around it. Okay, so that's the end of the lecture. Thanks for watching the video.